Nearman Condition, the home of Collected oh, Edition. That cover is so awesome. Absolute format is the best way to own this store. Time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves. What's happening, all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Nearman Condition. And today I get to talk about my top 30 most anticipated graphic novels collected editions coming out the rest of 2023. So I did one of these earlier on in the year, but not all the catalogs were out. Now we know everything that is coming out. So today I'm talking about my top 30. So join me. And welcome back everybody. So every year I like to do these type of videos twice a year. Once at the beginning of the year, whenever we have the early catalogs, and then about halfway through the year, whenever the rest of the catalogs are out. And now we have, well, we know of everything that is coming out. Again, things are always subject to change. The dates, always subject to change. As a matter of fact, there were some books I was excited for in my previous list. If you wanna see that list, click on the link above. I'm sure I'll put it up there. Don't forget, Uncanny Omar. And some of them have been moved until later on this year. So things like Captain Marvel, still true. Like the Captain Marvel Omnibus is still on the top 30. And it is still coming out, but now it's been moved until I think October. Uh, things like Wolverine, I knew were coming out. Omnibus Volume 4. So that will not be on this list. I did go back and watch. I don't really go back and watch my videos. But I did go back and watch that one to make sure I didn't double dip, if you will. And before even getting started, please don't forget to smash that like button. It's a very small thing you can do for the channel and it goes a long way for us. And big thank you to our patrons for making videos like this possible. Could not be doing this without you all. And one more thing, this is not a countdown. This is actually put together by the months they are coming out. All right, let's go ahead and start. Kicking off the list is the end cow, Kill Wolfhead. This is a hardcover by Humanoids. And I'm excited about this one because I read the first two. And this is all part of the in cow universe, so some more Johto-verse. But you don't need to have read things like Techno Priest or Megalex or things like the in cow itself. You can just enjoy them as sci-fi stories. But this one here is a little bit different because this one is by Brandon Thomas and Pete Woods and it features a main character from the in cow. So I'm interested if like Matter Barons show up in here. Um, yeah, so I'm curious about this one here, but very excited that it's coming out in September. Next up is Chainsaw Man box set. This includes volumes one through 11. And even though I'm disappointed that the design of the box is not an actual chainsaw shape, which would have been cool, and ridiculous amount of wasted space it's still really cool that they are pumping out these particular box sets for series that don't really have a definitive ending not yet and they're doing the same thing with one piece and almost taking a gamble in one piece because at any time oda can be like i'm done uh but this is by tatsuki fujimoto and it's a series both my daughter my oldest daughter uh miss lydia and i really love godzilla by james stoko deluxe edition from idw it is about time we get some of this in oversized format and if you've not read james stoko's half century war and you're a fan of godzilla or any kaiju that this is worth getting uh it is going to be an oversized hardcover format it's 168 pages and 39 dollars and 99 cents and oh my gosh that's been on my radar as soon as i saw that it was coming this year the Batman Adventures Omnibus from DC Comics. This is a book that has 1,192 pages and $150 and contains a bunch of Batman Adventures. And of course, those are the books by Kelly Puckett and uh, Paul Dini that are based on the animated series, set, set in the world of the animated series, and also has the Mad Love story in there too. It doesn't I don't think it'll have the extras, but it does have the Mad Love story in there. Promise Neverland, the complete box set. Of course, I have to put this on here. Now, this is complete. This one is all done. And this one's coming out in October. It is published by Viz, and it's all 20 volumes. And even though it looks like it's for kids, maybe not so much. Well, no, it still kind of does. That that's that fooled me because I bought this for my four-year-old when Lydia was reading manga. 
and she was like, I don't think I'm supposed to be reading this. So no, it is definitely not for kids. It's for older teens or adults. It's all about this little girl named Emma and a bunch of orphans that when they discover the truth about the orphanage and why they're being kept there, they want out. But it's it's an excellent series. And, I, you know, I never did finish reading it. And that's why I'm excited to finally get to that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Compendium Volume 2. Now, this is the classic era of Turtles. And every month I do my top 10. And when I do my top 10, I'll talk a little bit more about why there's missing issues in here. But still super excited for this book. 800 pages, $150. It's the classic Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird stuff. And it has been collected in Ultimate Edition and then the works, too, if you're curious about where to get these. Um... But those are out of, or actually they've been out of print for a while. Next up on the list is Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal Creation Myths, the complete collection. And this is from Boom Studios. It is an oversized deluxe edition hardcover, uh, but it's got work in here from Brian Hogan and Joshua Dysart and Matthew Dow Smith. But Brian Froud comes in. Yeah, he's, of course, the conceptual designer for the original Dark Crystal. And this is kind of like a prequel to the Dark Crystal. So not not like what they were doing with the Netflix series, which oh, sucks that that got canceled. Moonshine, the complete collection hardcover, all 28 issues from Brian Azzarello and Eduardo Rizzo coming in October for $69.99. So I have these in trade paperback, but I love Eduardo Rizzo's artwork. Rightly deserves to be in a big oversized format. This one took me by surprise because I had no idea until I was looking deep into the catalogs. Tokyo Babylon coming out in a premiere collection. So this is by uh, Clamp, the ladies at Clamp. It predates things like Eggs or Subasa or Holic. It's one of their... Uh, I want to say it's from the 90s. This is published by Yen Press. And it's about the story of Subaru and his sister. And it it is... What is his name? Se, Seishiro, I think? Yeah, Seishiro. Um, and Hokuto, that's his sister's name. And how they're working together to solve supernatural crimes in Tokyo. But this does lead into X. Because both Se, uh, Seishiro and... Subaru are both characters in X, if you read that from Clamp. So I'm very excited that this is finally coming back to print. And it rightly belongs back in print. What if Into the Multiverse Omnibus Volume 1, or what I like to call What If, the era I grew up with. So this is the 90s era of What If, but really the late 80s, because it started in 89. But there is the one shot in here from 88, too. This collects the first 39 issues. This is $125, 1,240 pages. And this is the era of What If that I grew up with. And I'm putting both of the covers up here. They have direct market covers. But yes, so excited about this one. Super Sons Omnibus, the Super Duper Edition. Yes, this will be the third time I buy this book because they added the other maxi series the challenge of the super sons is added in here first time they added the adventures of the super sons this time around they're adding challenge of the super sons one through seven and i think that they did another mini or another uh, one shot and somebody was making a joke that they should put that in here or just wait until next year and do a super duper really duper edition regardless i love the stories in here peter tomasi and patrick gleason with jorge jimenez and carlo barberi and they're just pure fun and remind me why I love comics. Regression, the complete collection finally coming out in a hardcover. All 15 issues by Danny Luckert and, of course, Cullen Bunn right out in October, too. Cannot wait. I do Hidden Gems every month and I really look forward at one time a year that I get to do Horror Hidden Gems in October. Thor by Jason Aaron Omnibus Volume 2. Of course I had to put this in here. This finishes out Jason Aaron's spectacular run on Thor. It's got artwork in here by Russell Dodderman and Olivia Quapel, Esad Ribbage, and Mike Del Mundo coming in. And it also has the War of the Realms miniseries. People were worried that Marvel wasn't going to add that in there, but they did. Yes, Black Hammer Library Edition, Volume 3. 
and not World of Black Hammer, Black Hammer Library Edition, collecting the Reborn issues, all 12, in a deluxe hardcover format. Now, from what I've seen in interviews or anything he, uh, Jeff Lemire said, this is the final part of the story, and I, I can't wait. I love this, this particular world, and I really need to remake my favorite Dark Horse comics, because I think, I, didn't, I don't know if I added Black Hammer in there when I did it three or four years ago. Superman, the Warlord Saga Compendium. I realize that this is not an omnibus like I wanted, like I know a lot of my viewers wanted, but it's better than nothing, and it's thicker than a trade paperback. It's 728 pages, $59.99 is Philip Kennedy Johnson's phenomenal saga, and I finally got to read the ending of it, and I realized that I was missing two of the trades in between, but I am interested to finally get to read the whole thing in a big, thick book. Now, if you're interested in some of these books that I've put up so far, check out our first sponsor. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for Omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! Next up on the list is Ice Cream Man Sunday Edition Volume 2. Just missing the October date because this one is coming out in November. But at least it's still coming out, which is great. This one has been teased since late last year. And the covers are all over Twitter uh, with the creators sharing all that information out there. Excalibur Epic Collection, you are cordially invited. Oh my gosh, I've, I've been waiting for this stuff to be collected. Uh, collecting all the way to 125 plus Excalibur 4 issue mini from 2001, the Forgotten series, nobody talks about. And then also X-Men True Friends, which I love, it's such an endearing mini series. Uh, that one's by Cl Chris Claremont, if I'm not mistaken. Now, is this stuff good? It's not as good as Chris Claremont or Alan Davis's run. It's actually probably on par with Scott Lobdell's Excalibur. But there's just something so nice about wrapping up a series. But like I always tell people, you know, judge for yourself. Read it for yourself. See if you like it. Because there's a lot of things that, you know, I enjoy that others don't and vice versa. Others enjoy that I'm not a fan of. But it is finally finishing out Excalibur. I'm not sure how the next Excalibur will be mapped. Which is, of course, the era that leads into House of M. Uh, and then there was new Excalibur. So I guess we'll see. We'll see what Marvel decides to do. Because I don't think they would be in the modern era. New series, new team though. Atlas Comics Library Hardcover Volume 1 Adventures into Terror. Now I'm not big on the golden age of neither Marvel nor DC. But I love horror comics. I love horror comics. And I don't think anything will ever beat of course... Um, I'm looking over there, you can't even see. Uh, but uh, the EC library, like that to me is best comics ever. Be best, like, it belongs in everybody's library. It's the best horror comics and some of the best books I've ever read. But I'm always curious to see what other creators were doing at the time. And this one here is published by Fanagraphics and it's the Atlas era. And it is a volume one. I can't wait to open it up and see this artwork. And I'm curious to see if there's restoration on the art. Uh, this one is coming out in November, and it's $34.99. So, very curious about this. This uh, has work in here, though, from John Romita and Jerry Robinson, Harry Anderson, Matt Fox, and Bill Everett, just to name a few of the artists. So, it is that Atlas era. So, it's very cool that somebody is actually printing that stuff. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Deluxe Edition Book 1. Now... I've been a big fan of the comics. I, I didn't grow up with the show. I collected giant robots because giant robots is in my blood for some reason. This is the stuff that happens after the sh uh, Shattered Grid and the Necessary Evil. This is the, the relaunch of the series. So it collects Buddy Morphin 1 through 8 and Power Rangers 1 through 8 whenever they split the two series. Plus a couple of the one shots here. By now, it's uh, Kyle Higgins has left the books but it's ryan parrot taking it over as the main writer savage sword of conan the original omnibus volume nine. Oh my gosh yes this stuff i'm so glad you know 
whenever we heard the news that Marvel was no longer going to be doing Conan, people were worried about what's going to happen to the omnibus treatment. Uh, I was worried too. But now, you know, Titan and Heroic Signature are working together to put these Omnis. And I've shown off what they look like on the on the channel. Uh, what the spines of them will look like. So they'll match your Marvel spines perfectly. And the restoration that's going into this. Now, Corey Settlemeyer, of course, took a step back. And now they have a new editor that's in charge of the restoration. So I'm curious to see what the end result will be. But that will be in the Volume 10 or King Conan Volume 2. Regardless, I'm excited that these are continuing. This is $150 and coming out in November. Sigil Omnibus from Marvel Comics. This one is coming out in November. And I'm excited about this one because it opens up the possibility for more cross-gen Omnis. And I really hope it does well. Because, man, I would love to see Sojourn. Uh, just some of the stuff, like the path. Just rare things that have been sitting out there that hasn't been collected and if it has been collected it's been decades since that stuff has been out of print so i would love to see proper collections of that era of comics um because i know a lot of us that read them really got into them scion oh my gosh scion that would be awesome but yes hopefully you know knock on wood it does well berserk the Lux edition volume 14 damn of course not only does it collect the guidebook and Berserk 40, but it also collects the final volume that Kentaro Miura worked on. So volume 41. And I'm glad they're uh, putting it out together. I hope there's some extra pages in there. This is 536 pages. And I hope there's some extra things in there that you know kind of fatten it up a little bit with artwork, additional stuff that he did. Just sucks that that's, that's the final one. It's crazy to think about the man's life and, and his work. But I don't know uh, how Volume 15 will be uh, collected because I know they're continuing it in Japan. So it really depends on what the estate and what the publisher over there, the licensor rather, wants to do. <sighs> Gonna be hard to talk about that one. Batman, the Hush Saga Omnibus. Of course, yes, a lot of double dipping. Uh, but it finally collects the Gotham Knights stories properly with an actual ending. And it double dips with the Hush story if you have that deluxe edition or absolute edition and uh, double dips with the paul dini stuff because the detective comics are in here um but the gotham knight stuff has not been ever collected in oversized format outside of the no wait no that's not even no man's land that was war games so no very excited for that one to come out and it was one that was in the catalog and then eventually they pulled it and replaced by the paul dini omnibus but as such things go sometimes things sneak back into the catalog and now solicit it Trigun Deluxe Edition. Those Deluxe Editions of Berserk really did so well for Dark Horse that they started trying out different things with Helsing and then Blade of the Immortal. And that's about to wrap up. And here we are with Trigun collecting both of the volumes. Remember, those are big books. So this is about 700 pages. 704 pages to be exact. $49.99. I love the simplicity, yet the complexity and beautifulness to these uh designs of the book so this one will be yellow astro city the opus edition hardcover oh my gosh absolutely and i and, and i know i'm not alone about when i talk about astro city uh because it's something that even kurt Busick has talked about that was coming and then things just kept getting delayed and then i mean he's been talking about it for five years that we were going to get something like this this is a big book it's 1168 pages a beautiful wraparound cover uh, by Alex Ross and finally coming out in December. If you haven't read Astro City and you're waiting for the hardcover, now is your time to shine because this is it. This is it. $149.99. I can't wait to see this book. Hold it in my hand. It's been years in the making. Young Justice Omnibus Volume 1. Peter David at Marvel Comics and get to announce uh, all these Omnis with his name on it. But now we are getting a dc omnibus with his name on it and it's gonna have it on the spine and that just makes me so damn happy like and of course we know we're getting the aquaman omnibus and hopefully that will open the door for supergirl omnibus and yes my top 
20, I think, top 10 most wanted DC and Marvel Omnis. That will be coming out in September. But so excited about this one. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, this collects, you know, the big chunk of... Uh, half half of the Young Justice run. So it should be two Omnis. This one's 1,272 pages, $150. We still don't know the content because that's just the way the catalog is right now. But I can't wait. Four gathered on Christmas Eve. Now, I know nothing about this book. But it looks like it should have come out on Halloween just on the cover we're alone but if you look at the title of course christmas but it's ghost stories yuletide ghost stories by eric powell mike mignola becky clunan and james heron that's all i needed dude that's all i needed i'm in yes 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 oh that's that's one that's been on my radar whenever i heard about it in i think it was in march whenever they started talking about this book uh, but this is published by dark horse comics vinland saga is getting a deluxe treatment somebody's jumping on the deluxe treatment bandwagon and i i don't blame them uh this is the first three volumes of vinland saga now if you have the hardcovers those were two in one this will be oversized and it will be three in one so this is seven by ten inches uh, you know, so it's a bigger than those Vinland Saga hardcovers. I'm pointing over there like you can even look over there, but that's where I keep mine. But excited for this one. It's one of my favorite manga. This one's $54.99, 688 pages, and published by Kadansha. Spider-Man by Chip Sadarsky Omnibus. Finally, finally. Uh, not only collecting his spectacular Spider-Man run, which is I was hoping for one day, but also collecting Life Story and the Life Story Annual, which is one of the best Spider-Man stories. If you if you're a fan of Spider-Man, you have gotta read that one. And Spider Shadow, which is his What If miniseries. He's a phenomenal writer. Adam Kubert's applying some of the artwork, and of course, showing this one has three covers. But very excited for this one. And then there's the Chip Sadarsky cover too. So choose the cover wisely, but. Oh, yeah. Rightly deserves an omnibus treatment. And I love that we have a spectacular Spider-Man from the very beginning omnibus. And now we have, like, the tail end of spectacular Spider-Man. Now we need the J.M. DeMatteis era and all these other books from uh, spectacular Spider-Man. And are we, at the, we are at the end. Nemesis the Warlock, the Definitive Edition, Volume 1. As soon as... Uh, 2000 AD Rebellion uh, message emailed me about this one. I was so excited. I, I I cannot wait to have this in my hands. I've only read a little bit of Nemesis, the Warlock, and that was through the pages of some of the progs. Uh, but there's this huge fan following for this character, and I can't wait to see this and see the fan uh, the finished product because it's gonna be an oversized format, and I believe there's gonna be six of them. Pat, uh, Pat Mills, and of course Kevin O'Neill, and Jesus Redondo. So, very excited for that one, and that one comes out in December. Now, if you're interested in purchasing some of these books and pre-ordering them, check out our sponsor, CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you mentees. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was my list, my top 30 most anticipated graphic novels or collected editions coming out the rest of 2023. Let me know in the comments down below what your list looks like, what you're most excited for. And remember to come back to the channel because I do my top 10 every month. And you're probably going to see, well, no, you are going to see every one of these books in my top 10. Along with other books to get excited for. Smash that like button on the way out. Again, thank you to our patrons. Could not be doing this type of videos without you all. Everyone, stay healthy and safe out there. Much love. <laughs>